Siri here. I'm going to say how my life as a female been since, you know, what, yeah, but what have I gained since I transitioned here? been transitioning now for quite a few years, so wondering, started thinking about it the other day. What would happen, well, my life as uh, being a female, well, when I lived, when I used to be a male, hmm, <clears throat> Well, it used to be a male, you know, you know, I didn't go too much far. I feel, if I felt like, you know, didn't feel right. I just didn't feel right being a male, like some of you other. And then it did felt right. Felt that way for over many hundreds of years. And they thought it was, and the conservative soul learning in school contributed to a lot of that. And, um, and rage sometimes on tea, you know. And I can go on about it. Yeah, I can go on about it, but not like... <clears throat> I can go on and on and on. But it's not um what I'm thinking there. Well, it's a lot of things, you know, you know too. And then trying to fit in, thinking I where I belong. But finally, it was for me just, you know, being to what I am being there. And then finally clicked in my head. You know, I dress, I cross dressing at home, you know, and I go to bed and not in public, and I get to the point where finally, you know, like, you know, it got to a point where I feel like, well, you know, it's not really what, that's not what I am, you know. So I made the biggest decision in my life. Number one is to stay a male. And continue where I am. Number three, two, it's to go transition from male to a female. So then I thought about it and I seen other people out there doing it. I seen three people done it in the public, done it that way. And I decided, well, and then one day out of desperation, well, I called the AIDS network in Hamilton here and I said, I told them I want, and they asked them where, to, in any way, I could, who does, who can help me transition to a female. And they directed me to an organization in Hammer called Well. The Well today, no, Well gone bankrupt, or defunct. You know what I'm talking about? As we now. Because bad management and everything else. So I went there, didn't know too much. I started to, and I met up with another person there, whose name I can't mention, who going female to male. I didn't know, I didn't know he was going to be a he looked so much like a man. So I sat, a first year, the new second year, I saw him, ran into a person, Masarello. So I went to Masarello, made a point to see her, and from there, I thought, and I talked a little bit, and Masarello turned around, and got me on, put me on a uh, female HRT, started HRT on me. So I started doing HRT, and as I'd done HRT, I started feeling better. I felt better. I felt like I was somebody in society. I felt in place all the time. Like I feel like I poked to be where I am. And then, but say, doing the going male to female came with a consequence. It's hard and not easy. You know, some people may think I'm going to transition from male to man, man to woman. Male, male, female, it's not an easy game. I can tell you this right now. It's not easy. It is hard. I can tell you that right now. I, I thought it would be easy. But when I started growing, I started getting space, started, I started looking more like a female, less like a male here. I did a name thing and, and the gender marker saying, what's it that? The thing, once you do a gender marker change and it's done, you know, when you do name saying, the name saying that really makes you well act like a lady because you put a lady's name like like in front of you. You change your name, change my name, I changed my name to Sari from Stewart. So, you did that. That made me really act like a male. Because once you did the name, the lady name, you know, it's very hard to act like a man. Oh, boy. Wake up in the morning. And, and then, top of that, my quality of life. I noticed in the been going all the many years like this. You know what? 
my life as a lady is way better than there would be a man. If I was, didn't do this, I probably would not, I don't know where I'd be today. Huh. Probably would not have, you know, sat there. I probably would end up blowing my money. I'd probably end up in something would happen that wouldn't be what I want to. It would be, uh, what else? I wouldn't be going, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't have gone as far as I would not, I probably would not have gone as far as having my life, you know, doing this. I mean, I probably would not have gone in my life. Actually, I noticed, when I, I like with being a female, it's this. You have more choices of clothing to wear as a woman than I did as a man. Of course, you know, having, having, having a bra every day, that's that by being a woman. And having a bottom surgery, that's something I'm waiting for. Right? Harder said than done. But you know what? Being this way for all these years now, the woman, more sorts of clothing I had before. You know, if I want to wear a man's clothing, I can't. You know what I'm talking about? It's just the hormone, the medication I take does not let you wear a man's clothing. It doesn't let you wear a man's t-shirt anymore. I can't even do that. I don't even want to do it. Matter of fact, I don't even want to dress as a man. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, I know, matter of fact, I've been so conditioned in my life. Now, I, you know what? I totally forget what it's like to be a man. No, I forget they were like, matter of fact, the more choices, I have more, the style for being a female, greater than being a man. And more grateful for being a man, and more, they get more choice of being a woman than they are being a man. And the clothing is nicer, prettier. Not only is it nicer, more stylish. You can go, I can go places, I can, uh, I can go into places of ladies only. I will, you as a male, I couldn't go with male. You know something? Those places they own are nice, they sound very pretty, very, very pretty. I can walk into lady clothes dress shops and buy lady clothes. I mean, I done it. I do it all the time. I can't. I mean, I never ever buy. I have never bought a head bomb man shirt for you. I bought ladies top man, lady women shirts, lady pants. I wear all dresses I want to wear. One neck with all dresses I want to wear. Sometimes I wish to my own. Sometimes I thought about what. If I started when I was younger, 20 years old, I probably would have a lot more hair in my head. I mean, more feminine, because I started later. It takes longer. When you start later, it takes longer trending. If I started when I was 15 or 8, I started when I was 19 years old, going into 20, you know what? I would probably would be way better off. I'd probably be about the same. The only thing different to me is I have thicker more hair in my head than I ever had before. So, you know, I think about it. And you know, today, I think about myself and I think about my bottom surgery. When I have my bottom done, you know, I'll go for another behavior change after that because when you when you have, when you don't, when you have the lady private part, I can't mention what that is on YouTube, but I can say that. It actually uh, makes you behave more like people. Can you look down and see it? Then you can't. You don't look down and see that, you know. And you look at yourself and you realize, you know, you're not a man anymore. I look at myself now and realize, I, hey, I'm not a man anymore. I'm a lady. Huh? I see that. And then I say to myself, it's, I have to act like one. And no funny thing is, the guys are cute and funny for out there. But I have, I've been picked up with guys already. You know, I even picked up a guy, even when a teenager I picked up a male. So, you know what? So, but man, even when a teenager, when a teen boy, I picked up a man. I would have, later on, the same thing. So, I mean, that's pretty good. So, I ain't going to say, well, this video is what I'm explaining. I'm going to say it's not easy to transition. It's hard. Some people, you know, some people start transitioning. They go away far getting their bottom surgery, some cases. And you know what happens? And they want to go back to being a male. Some people go get, some people, some people go for getting it done below. Go for all I'm going through. 
get it done, live on a very happy life afterwards of being a female, and based on some transgender people who live very happy after being a woman. And you know what? And then they ever think about it, you know, this again. They think, once you got bonds, they're done, they, they realize now, I finally I'm there. I finished my transition at that point. Which you do not, what I see too, a lot of do that. A lot of them will wait, a lot of them will say, well, if, you know, some, you know, some will go through life, uh, some will do get it done, when they get done, they say, you know, and some transgender female function very well with zero testosterone system. You know, you see a lady got real, uh, that is short, or sort of, you know, called a small lady or a short lady, or basically a midget, you know, a small one. You, it's smaller than you, or it has skinny legs and very, very, very fatigued, you know, and have nothing but all skinny throughout. Uh, uh, out there somewhere, but it, it nice to know what I'm talking about. The old ladies have zero tea in their system. Matter of fact, they had nothing and they had no testosterone. They function very, very, very well if female without it. They do better that way without the testosterone. Then I see, then there, and then you get like that's what I noticed if you were. With me, I function a lot better without it. I mean, I seen people, ladies, adult, if a female with skinny legs, not fatigue, but skinny as can hell be, but not any muscles in the legs or arm, and all that. And you know what? Biological wise, and they have no testosterone. I see some trans women have no testosterone in their system, and they function very, very, very well. I know a few of them might have zero, and they function way better without it. With me, I even after surgery done, I'm I probably will function way better without anything like that. My sister, not any male to talk my sister. I may end up functioning much better. You know, honestly, much much better. Well, anyway. I, on the next blog, I make a trip down to London, so I probably won't be blogging too much, but this is the blog I, I want to tell you about. It's not easy transition. Blog it now. Thank you for listening. Blog over.